My name is Allie Havens. I'm 24 and I moved to Keene in August of 2011. I chose a Free State Project because it was exactly what I was looking for before I even knew the Free State Project existed. I wanted to move somewhere where all the libertarians would be, or at least a sizable amount of libertarians, and that's what I was already looking for. I was doing all these Google searches for like, you know, town that has the most libertarians and not much was showing up. So uh, I found out about the Free State Project through Free Talk Live, and then as soon as I knew it existed, I was all in. I knew I'd have to move. Since moving to New Hampshire, the best thing I think I've done for the effort of trying to make New Hampshire into the most libertarian place it could be would probably be my efforts in doing media and doing podcasting. Shortly after moving to Keene, I did Ladies in Keene, which was an effort by me and some other girls in Keene to start a radio show to give the female perspective on what was going on in Keene and New Hampshire, but we mostly focused on what was happening in Keene, because that's where a lot of the civil disobedience was going on. So me, Cecilia, Kate, and then later Shauna all did the show together, and it was really fun because it was like a sort of... Um, female-centered show about topics that usually we're used to hearing males talk about, so it was kind of nice because we could try to get some more females from around the country involved. The idea behind the show I started with Ellen Ball called ALP was that I was on a bunch of other shows and topics would come up and then I'd want to talk more about it and then everyone would be like, we've moved on, Allie, can we talk about something else? And I would just be like, I could go on and on about this one topic for like two hours. So I you know, got together with Ellen and we created a show just about going on in depth into one topic per show. So that was the idea behind that and we would come up with a new topic every Every week do one show per week that lasted two hours because I did those other things I also was able to get a gig working with Adam Kokesh um, for Adam versus the man show so I did just media basically which I think is the best way to reach people because that's what got me involved in moving to New Hampshire Currently, I'm working on updating my website, alliehavens.com. That's going to be like a landing page for all the things I've done and what future projects I'm going to be part of. My main focus in activism would be doing media, because that's what I have experience with. I think that that's, as far as activism goes, what I would be best at. I haven't tried a lot of other kinds of activism, but that's definitely what I'm most comfortable with, because I'm a talker, and I can just go on and on about almost anything. If you're interested in hearing more about the Free State Project, if you're watching at home and you just don't know a lot about it, of course you can always go to the Free State Project website and find out, you know, from people, you know, find out about, like, good reasons why you might want to move. But if you want, like, a really honest representation of what it's like to live in the Free State Project, you're going to want to check out media from there because what you'll find is that a lot of people might come with a certain expectation. Everyone has different expectations when they move. They, everyone thinks it's going to be like the utopia that they imagine. And not that it's not a utopia in a lot of ways. Um, I think people who've moved sometimes take things for granted until they go back home and remember what it was like before they lived in the Free State Project in New Hampshire. Um, but if you listen to people who are making media here, then you get to hear about what all the different struggles are, um, all the successes and you can kind of live vicariously through them and decide if that's something that interests you. If you think you'd be excited by the same things or maybe disappointed by the same things, you'd get a better idea of what you can expect rather than just sort of creating this vision of your mind of what it would be like to live in the Free State Project. It's kind of like when you have a crush on someone that you don't know very well. You imagine them to be a lot of things and then when you date them they might be a little different, better in some ways than you imagined and you know maybe different in some ways that you imagined so it's always good to get to know someone or a state before you decide to just pick up and commit to it. To see an archive of things that I've done and things that interest me, maybe future projects, you can always go to alleyhavens.com and see more of me there.